and welcome to today's edition of Game Over. Plenty of talk about Virat Kohli's aggression in the cricketing world. Should he? Should he not? Is it deplorable behavior? Is it obnoxious behavior? Is Virat Kohli not good for the game? That is one school of thought that India may have won, but the behavior was deplorable. The behavior was uh, clearly out of sync with what we expect from a captain in Test match cricket. The other side. Nasser Hussain, uh, a lot of the others, uh, Nick Compton, uh, have said that Virat Kohli, Kevin Peterson is great for Test match cricket because he's a character you would want to watch Virat Kohli and he gave it back to the English. Where do I stand on this? That's what I want to discuss in today's episode of Game Over. You know, I've got to say this, Virat Kohli is definitely good for Test cricket. Did India start it? The question is, uh, you know, there for you. Is Anderson a serial offender? He is. 2014, I was there uh, in Trent Bridge in Nottingham. That whole thing that started in the uh, you know tunnel going into the change room, Jimmy Anderson, Mudli Vijay and the rest of the boys. Then again, Jimmy Anderson was yet again involved in another dispute four years later and now with just with Bumrah. So it is not as if Jimmy Anderson is some saint. Now, if you do this to this Indian side, as KL Rahul has said, you abuse them, you chirp at them, no mistake, do it. But do it at your own peril because the entire 11 will come back. Our Shridhar has revealed it uh, in Ravi Ashwin's uh, YouTube channel that Virat said before lunch and break that Shami and Bumrah, when they come back, the entire team should go down to the long room and start cheering for them. And the cheer should be as loud that it should reverberate all over Lords. You know, I absolutely love this attitude and I'm making no qualms about it. I love this attitude. If a captain is backing his boys like this, there is every reason to stand up for that captain. And England isn't, uh, you know, a team that will just take it lying down. They were the ones who started it. Jimmy Anderson, tried to give it to the Indians, they got it back. Just with Bumrah, I see no reason why. Just with Bumrah will not bounce Jimmy Anderson. That's par for the course. It is par for the course. Now you give it verbally, you get it back. And I've got no issues. Joe Root lost the plot in the mind when they were giving it verbally. He lost it there. He lost it there and he took it to a different plane. And the bowling also went haywire. As far as the Indians are concerned, uh, at no point in time did Virat Kohli took, uh, take the bowling here. They were always focused on line and leg, on the money, swing, uh, trajectory, length. Look at Mohammad Shami bowling uh, Jimmy Anderson in the first innings. Look at Mohammad Siraj, despite all the chirp. So I have no problems and I'm making it very clear here. Virat Kohli is a character who I would pay to go and watch in test match cricket arenas around the world. He's good to watch, he's entertainment, he's great for the game, he's committed, he's passionate, he will play till the last ball and make no mistake, the breed of cricket that India is playing is the Virat Kohli breed of cricket and I've got no problems with this. So it is important that going into Leeds, we say this very clearly that the kind of passion that I've seen from Kohli is what Kohli stands for is the you know he's the embodiment of this new breed of India uh, the India that wants to conquer the world mission domination is his breed and mantra and I've got no problems with that that's what I wanted to celebrate in today's edition of Game Over thank you very much for watching